The agency continues to work hard to help Japan deal with the consequences of the accident. Member states are also making serious efforts to implement the lessons learned from this and from previous accidents. I reiterate my call for the DPLK to fully comply with the NPT and to cooperate promptly and fully with the agency. The IAEA remains ready to contribute to the peaceful resolution of this issue by resuming its nuclear verification activities once political agreement is reached among the countries concerned. Iran is not providing the necessary cooperation to enable us to provide credible assurance about the absence of undeclared nuclear material and activities. The agency, therefore, cannot conclude that all nuclear material in Iran is in peaceful activities. As detailed in my report, Iran has recently begun installing IR-2M centrifuges at the fuel enrichment plant at Natanz. This is the first time that centrifuges more advanced than the IR-1 have been installed for production purposes. Construction of the IR-40 reactor continues, and Iran has stated that the reactor, reactor is expected to begin operating in the first quarter of 2014. I request Iran once again to provide access to the parting site without further delay, whether or not agreement has been reached on the structured approach. Providing access to the parting site would be a positive step which would help to demonstrate Iran's willingness to engage with the agency on the substance of our concerns.